Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl in that. Hey, your boy Stanley. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get right into this. It, they didn't give us anything tonight, not to me. They didn't give us anything, but it worked out better for me because with everything that's going on in the world this week, yeah, it's been I'm kind of glad it was on. like, mm. yeah, it, that's bad to say. If loving you is wrong, it's get ready to come back on, and I'm not reviewing it. He says, I ain't saying nothing right now because we said it every, uh -uh. every season until the first it. episode come on. I uh, put in my resignation with Tyler and I'm already off the payroll. <laughs> and he said, this is the last time I can take and <laughs> turn it in. He not going to take me back. So I'm off payroll. I ain't doing it. All right now. So this one is called um, Kate. And for all of you all, please, I know you all have been doing it, but send your love to Houston and to everyone that has been affected by Hurricane Harvey. It is devastating. Terrible. Yes, they got it's it's Yeah. I had yeah. to stop watching. Like my it's everything crazy. I'm just so drained. Yeah. By everything that, you know, everyone is going through. And as a YouTuber, you see your other fellow YouTubers, you know, starting to be affected by different stuff like that. Um I was checking on um, the Jet Life, which they are part of our vlogging life, and they said that, you know, they're possibly going to be affected by it because the water is still rising and they're alleviating some of the things. It's just a lot. Mm -hmm. So y'all keep them in your thoughts and your prayers. Do what you can. If you're going to donate money, please send them through credible sources. Yeah. Um, people are discouraged to do it through the Red Cross, and so am I. Mm -hmm. So there are different avenues that we need to look into ourselves. I'm not going to give you those lists because if they wrong, yeah. <laughs> you ain't going to say that Lynette told me this was a yeah. credible source. Do your some in-depth research. Yeah, so you do doing? your own research. Yeah. So into this review. We start off where we left off at last week where we got, <laughs> they don't shot up the club, but they, they, it's the restaurant. <laughs> So, Mama Malone, she came from out the back, but really her makeup artist was back there. She brought, look, she brought Estee Lauder to her. She was just getting her <laughs> face beat. So, she came from out the back with her Ruby Woo on. And she was like, mm, that him? Oh, grandbaby, mm, mm Don't get blood on your good shoes. Um, yeah. And who this right here? Oh, this Erica? They okay. want to say nothing at first. And she was like, you want her alive? Miss saved her tail. Miss said, say, you know, go. Go ahead on, get on out there. We ain't got to kill him. So Mama Malone was like, hmm, Candace, she did a good deed. I owe her. And Mitch was like, you. I was like, you what? Know Candace? I remember now, I do. Say, so, you know Candace? She said, yeah, she was here before. So Mitch goes outside and talking to um, Candace and was like, hey, my grandma wants to have a face to face with you because she want to thank you. For um, basically delivering war so that they can do what they had to do because you saved the neighborhood because it was going to be another with a bloodshed Tuesday. Bloodshed Tuesday, one of them, yeah, Massacre Tuesday. Yeah, so she was like, I mean, uh, Mitch was like, hey, you gave her a service so that she ain't got to do this to the hood. She just want to say thank you. Candace oh, said, you know, you with know all what? due respect, I'm good. Uh -uh. He said, we straight. He said, she's somebody that you may not want to piss off. So go ahead and take the um thank you, put it in your pocket because you may need, need it. it one day. And he said, hold on, how how does she know you again? She said, well, they kidnapped me. Mm -hmm. Had me yeah, down in the basement. I could hear people up there laughing. He said, oh, oh, usually people don't make it from under the stairs. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> usually people don't make it from under the stairs. So she, she said, was you like, were blessed. Yeah, like she was like, y'all upstairs eating pasta and eating clams out of a hash shell, but, and I'm down there struggling. But bad as she wanted war, she was pissed off that them grandsons shot up that goddamn restaurant too. <laughs> she she was like, y'all done shot up my new restaurant. They was like, what if the police find out? She said, I own. I the own police. the police. I said, I need, Lord, I need somebody like that in my life. Mama Malo, what's your number? Yeah, let me give you a call. I call you text on message or something. One of your burner phones, just give me the number. She probably on Verizon too. Hmm. Well, can you make my bill go down? Yeah. Even with this good corporate discount, I get that good. Make it happen. So, then we see Hannah. Hannah goes to pick up Benny from the jail, right? And I'm going to say this. Benny was the slowest dude leaving a jail that I ever seen in my uh -huh. God going life. Yep. So I was like, first of all, he walking out there. Oh, like Mike B said, all oh, willy-nilly, like... Like he just came out of a, a country club. And I'm like, nah. dude, get in the car, put that joke in no, drive no. before they found another charge. No, matter of fact, I would say you need to pick me up at the nearest Walmart. 
Because I'm going to walk. I'm not staying there because they barely, he barely got out of there. Yeah. I said before you find another charge on me, I'm going to be out the gate. You remember when I used to be working at Bank of America and you said that girl would come running out, out to the car every single evening? That's how I'd be. Soon I got out the door, I'd be gone, and I'm boy. Like, is there something you need to tell me? Because this girl <laughs> takes off running out this door every day. And everybody in the park like just be like was, this. I guess she was glad to get off work. Ah, hell, I can, I can relate to that. So... Those those words that um, Candace said to Hannah is now ringing in Hannah's ear. And I'm glad about it. Louder than ever before. And I'm glad about it. Why, if you were protecting my son, why didn't you get shot? Now, that was a debate that was going on in the comment section, you know. And that's what we do. We have a good little dialogue. Because yeah. what what I tell y'all last week? What, what, what did I take, took and told y'all last week? I took and told y'all that when you're dealing with Tyler, you just keep, because you you know you're going to hit the finish line at some yeah. point. All this over here may not make no goddamn sense. But all roads will lead to Ford Motor Company. <laughs> I tried to tell y'all that. So we have these discussions in the comment section because we was like, you know, if you hover over them, you know, we've heard instances where someone else gets shot and the person that should have been shot didn't get shot. Yes, but not in Tyler Perry's world. Because nah. in Tyler Perry's world, you can shoot through mattresses and the bullets will bounce off them like rubber. So uh -huh. in Tyler Perry's world, hey. she should have got it. <laughs> And the reason why I'm saying I'm glad that she feel guilty and all screwed up in the head because she getting a taste of the medicine that she been delivering to, to Candace. She has. Every time something goes down, she blame Candace for it. It makes no difference. Yeah, she, she get blamed no for sympathy. So she giving no sympathy. So at this point, hey, her her son is dead, so she gonna really gonna give tea, man. Yeah, man. She ain't got nothing else to live for, really. I yeah. mean, her brother. Even though grown. she done bucked up in the situation. Oh, she real bucked up. And she done up. abandoned him a few times. I know she loved him. She done abandoned him. But at this point, she going to give it all back to you. Mm -hmm. And like I told somebody in the comment section, I said, Lil Q's um, blood is on all of their hands, to yeah, be honest with you. Yeah, On Mitch hands, War hands, Candace Qu I mean, everybody's hands is dirty. All of them. Um, Hannah, Hannah was the one who stole it from the hospital. Let's not forget that. That's right. She sure did. He's supposed to be a foster but care. But she running around like her skit don't stink. That's, yeah. the, that's the part that's pissing off freaking Candace. Is like, okay, I understand that I'm an a-hole. <laughs> but you are a-hole too, but you won't admit it. Yeah. Most yeah, because you, you've been delivered. You've been delivered. Yeah, most church people don't admit they're a-holes. <laughs> um, and most of them be a-holes. So, um, Bennett was like, hey, mama. Um... Cause she, he was just talking to her about, you know, come on out of that, you know, cause she's starting to, you know, say, well, maybe I should be dead. You know, maybe the bullet mm -hmm. should have helped, you know, I should have been able to protect her. He's like, all right, mama, come on out of this. You know, we going to have to get you back. Right. We yeah, got to make the pray. She said, I ain't got nothing to pray I ain't got about. To pray. You pray. I ain't got nothing in me. He, he said, said, well, let's go to church. Me. She said, well, he said, well, you teach me. She said, I already taught you. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that is very true. That is a real moment mm -hmm. when you have lived your life. So much so that you feel like, dang, why am I here? Mm -hmm. Why am I dealing with this? And you get to a point where you like, you know what? Everything that I ever did in my life does not add up for me to be dealing with this. This tragedy right here. Mm -hmm. This right here should not have come to my door. Because I've always tried to do right by people. Did the best I could. Tried to be an honest person. Mm -hmm. Tried to help everybody out. And... You mean to tell me I still got to deal with something like this? But you know what would be the beautiful thing could happen out of this situation? The right beautiful thing could happen <laughs> out of this situation right now? That the death of Q will bridge her and Hannah's relationship. I'm together. hoping he writes that. Because usually, usually death does create tension in the beginning. But that tension begins to release and relationships start to get mended. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm hoping that they will both see their error mm -hmm. in all Excellent. of this. And be like, because what it's going to take is somebody going to have to humble themselves hmm. under the mighty hand of the Lord. <laughs> and admit, I screwed up. I did this. I did uh -huh. that. Be specific. Don't just say I messed up. Don't you hate when yeah. somebody come to apologize to you, but they don't I'm tell you what you apologizing for? Anything I did. But no, then when they apologize to you, they be like, I'm sorry that I, that I did it to you, but you, mom, you did this to me. So it's almost, it's, oh, it's, 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 it's a, you, it's, you bounce off of them and say what they did, and then you apologize. I'm like, no, 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 no. You uh -huh. got you got to admit all your wrong, put it all on the table, let it all hang out. 
with the flow wide open. With the flow wide open. So Benny was like, listen, I'm trying to ignite this fire back into my mama, get this fake jump started. It ain't work. It ain't work. Hmm. And I said, you know what? I'm glad that Tyler wrote it like that because that's real. That's real. Every time, you just don't bounce back every time. Yeah. It's going to take a minute probably for her to bounce back. Yeah. If she bounced back at all. Now, what would be a beautiful thing, Tyler should write this in there. Because you know black people, we don't like going to counseling and stuff like that. We don't like to admit that, you know, we got things that's bigger than Jesus. Um, and it's not that it's bigger than Jesus. He gave us another avenue to get this thing fixed, right? Yeah. And to deal with different things. Wouldn't it be beautiful if he would write that in there so that she would actually have to go to counseling to cope with herself? Hmm. Cope with this death? And maybe it will do a bridging of the family yeah. and get everything on the table. Because let's not forget, there was a point where her and Candace had a moment. Yeah, they did. When, you know, she admitted to being raped and Hannah admitted to having fault in that um, situation. Mm -hmm. That all went to hell real quick. Real quick. Now they act like they don't even know each other no more. Yep. So I hope we get back there. But she always started, though. She um, Hannah always be the one that, that, girl. that messes up the, the moment. Yeah, so we'll see. So David goes over there to the hotel. <laughs> Erica don't made it back to the hotel. She is toe up from the floor up, boy. She jumping. She. David was like, what happened to you? What's going on? Oh, baby, face, talk to me, face please. Face all messed up. So she basically said, hey, I was not honest with you. I am not all, I'm not a good person. I'm not who, <laughs> I ain't that nigga. They say <laughs> I ain't. Listen, Ooh. I got a fiance. This dude wants me to marry him, and he puts hands on me. So, this is what's going on. I'm going to need you to help me. Keep me safe. I need some money. I need some money, Get yeah. me out of here. And I said, oh, this the this this how we going to get you. that damsel in distress. I said, so this how you going to get out of town? But you ain't getting out of town. You going right to Davis' bed. Yeah, right over Davis' house, yeah. Because Davis thought Veronica did it. He said, I'm going over there and talking to Monica. Take care this. I'm going to take care of this right now. <laughs> I said, <laughs> So when it was time to leave, Erica said, well, can we take the back stairs, please? But did she, she want the door? I said, if she bent over one more time, that split going to be all the way in her arm parts crack. That little Ooh. tight, big old small um, skirt she had on. So Melissa's mama hand delivered her helpful. right back over to Demonica over at the house. Talking about something. She ain't going to do it no more. She learned the lesson. She was just having a hard time because her daddy died. But she going to be all right. So Demonica looking at the mama like, is there something else you won't tell me? What's she said, mm, how's the funeral planning going? It's going well, but she said, how much do you need? Because I know you always need something. Well, and she was like, well. The insurance company didn't come all the way through. I said, well, I appreciate that you had some you type had of some insurance. So I can't be mad at you. Yeah. She said, I'm going to sell the house. Well, where you going to live with my sister? And what you going to do with the money from the sale of the house? I'm going to pay yeah. you back. She was like, oh, okay, but then you still borrowed money from this heifer. So I'm sitting here like, you might as well just take all your money and run and get out of Dodge. I don't know. Yeah, anyway. speaking, of, speaking of it, Sean, this, this is a teachable moment right here. Somebody in that family just um lost a loved one. Yeah. And they had the youngest person that's like, what's she, 18, 19? Mm -hmm. Had insurance policy on her dad. And when they went to cash it out, come to find out it had a two-year waiting period on it. What they call it? Not the um, probationary yeah, period. Two, two years. Waiting she period. Didn't, she didn't even know it. And I don't even know. I doubt if her sister did expose that to her because she probably wouldn't have never did it. So if you got in uh, life insurance policy you just got and you didn't check into that, Make sure please call them and ask them if you got that because you hate to get to that moment to give them a call. And they only give you back what you paid into the policy. And make sure that you <clears throat> have whole life. Or term life and I only say term life if that is the only thing that you can afford to have yeah and don't let them um, trick you into getting that accidental bus yeah either. if you're not gonna get hit by a train or die you know accidentally in a car accident or something like that which prayerfully you know that, that don't have that won't yeah. reach your door they're not gonna pay out so it has yeah. to be like a tragic death something like that for them to pay out so that's a teachable moment as well and for my cook thank you my, my family member the thing that broke my heart was this 19 year old saw different people struggling yeah. with burying loved ones and she took out a policy for her dad and it broke my heart that she tried to do something mm -hmm. to break that cycle and it still backfired you know what i mean yeah so i hope she doesn't the get discouraged by that you know her. yeah the sister yeah. screwed her so i haven't had a chance to talk to her yet so you know 
it is what it is. So what the hell is we talking about? <laughs> oh, David and um, David no, Eric. No, um, uh, um, Melissa's mama. Oh yeah. So Demonica was like, you know what? When the balance is um, due, and when you know the balance on that um, funeral call, give me a call. Give me a call, bro. And I know you will. Yeah. So when the mama, but this the part that tripped me out. The mama was like, "What's that smell? Are you cooking something good?" She acted like she was real hungry, y'all, and I was like. Is this a little deeper than I think it is? Like, is this what's going on here? Like, she made her look like she was really desperate. Yeah. And she was like, she is. She giving up her daughter. Yeah. She was like, well, goodbye. Then she go, the Monica go tell Melissa. Hmm. Your mama. Oh, she's like a gnat. Yes. Just na 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 na. Ghetto B. Is she a crackhead? Cause she always wants something five out ten out here here here. <laughs> Melissa saying nothing wrong my mama other than she disabled. The only thing she needed to disable is her refrigerator. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all, y'all hood rag chicks. All you got to do is stop eating these the, complex carbs. I said, shut the hell up. And this processed food. <laughs> so you keep it up. You can have bags under your eye just like her. I said, you know what? Then she gonna leave Melissa upstairs. Show her the bloody bed. Tell me something. Oh, did you think I was gonna get the housekeeper to clean this? And I said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know it's been a good long while since this episode aired, but didn't you call that lady in the middle of the freaking night from that hospital and tell her to bring her tail over there and clean up your goddamn house in the middle of the night? But I think maybe she did tell her don't don't touch that bed. I think she did, yeah. Why? Why? Because she talked too much. No, but why did you call that call, lady yeah. in the middle of the night? Make her catch a bus. It's too much going on. It's just <laughs> too much going on. So then we got Charles Obama. He goes over there to visit Candace. Now, Chucky has turned back into Charles. And Charles is basically telling the Candace, look, they don't interviewed a whole bunch of people for this position to be by my side, but they ain't got no edge. They ain't hood enough. And they don't know how to cook grits. Yeah. So you that chick. Yeah. I didn't mean to fall for you. But when you was on top of me, you spit around, you did that thing. I'm yeah, done. I'm hooked. I, I mean, Hook, line, and sink. So, do you need me to stay with you a little bit while, you know, while longer before I have to go back on the campaign trail? Cam's like, no. And then she was like, you know what? He said, because I don't want to leave you. She said, well, don't. He said, hey, uh, but pump your brakes. This is my job. Yeah. I'm leaving. I'm she told him, say, give it up, give it all up to be with me then. And I said, you know he ain't going to do that. Now, what you want but with she, a man that ain't she, working and you ain't working either? But you know what? When them doors closed, he thought about it. He banged on the door. Good. Like what? <laughs> when they were leaning up against them doors like that, you know how you see them pictures of um brides and grooms right before they get ready to get married, but they don't mm -hmm. want to see each other. Yeah. And they stand on the door <laughs> and they hold it and they praying. Yeah. I said, look at them, looking like a goddamn married couple. <laughs> well, a new uh, getting ready to get married. So what else? She said that, shoot, man? shoot Charles Obama. You wanted that bad, like she said, make her the first lady, make her the first lady, make her mm -hmm. the first lady. Hello. Yeah, you trying to clean her up anyway, so go and slap her on in there. Hmm. Donald Trump. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> see, this is the part that pissed me off. I said I wasn't going to give no emotions on this one because I'm just emotionally drained by this freaking Texas thing. Um, Hannah. Hannah is the type of person that gets on your everlasting nerves because you've tried your best to do so good in life. And I give Hannah her props for trying to live on that straight and narrow. Mm -hmm. You believe God. Mm -hmm. I pay my tithes. I do this. But why is it that when it's your turn to be blessed, you can't see it for what it is? You, gotta, you push back on it, reject it. Can't receive. Good at giving, but suck at receiving. Literally, Catherine told her, when my father's house is done from renovation, I'm moving in that and I'm going to give you this. I can't let you do I that. I can't let you do that. It's like, well, she give you, you, do you remember? That you homeless. Yeah, you homeless. Uh, Q's car is still in your house. <laughs> the dirt. As far as that we know, it's still in your living room. Pop, like it's on the showroom goddamn floor. And she giving you a whole, not not a playhouse, a real whole house. Probably <laughs> about seven to 8,000 square feet. Matter of fact, it's enough for you to move your whole family in there. But Catherine asked her a pertinent question, though. Now, did she? That was deep. Said, if I was black, would you, would take, you take it from me? And she was saying, why would you say something like that? He, she said, because 
I've learned that there's some black people basically that says, mm -hmm. you know, we we can't come up unless we get it from the white woman. And she was like, so do you really think like that? And she was like, no, I don't think like that. She said, so why do you have a problem taking from me? She was like, okay, so since you don't want to take from me, why don't you come back and work for me? I said, okay, so you don't want nobody to give you a blessing, uh -huh. you but you'd rather go back out in the cotton field and, and let work. her give you a little bit of wages so that you give it right back to her. And she was like, I don't know about that. He said, well, I'll tell you what, I go down to the bank, tell them to give you a loan, and then you pay the loan back to them. Well, my credit is messed up. I'm on she said, I'm on a goddamn board. Just, just go get a tent. Yeah. Go get a tent and be happy with your Bible because you don't want a blessing at all. And see, I look at this different because Catherine said that Hannah gave her something that was priceless. She did. She brought peace to her house. She was there for her when she had cancer, even though her family won't there for when she had it. Well, so she got walked, it. Yeah, she, you know, she walked the process with her. So I think at that moment, Catherine realized that when you sick, money don't mean skit. It don't. It's about the people you love surrounding you to help you get through that situation. And Hannah was that person. And she said, it. all I want to do is to give back to you for what you've given to me. Matter of fact, this house right here, it ain't nothing, it ain't to, me. nothing to me. This is small. I care nothing about this. But she but said, she, this could change your life. But she said, if I'm going to give you what I really wanted to give you, you wouldn't even be able to take it. She can't. Whatever. I'm done. I'm like, yeah. don't be blessed. Just, just go to church and say, Lord, keep me holding out because I, yeah. I, I mean, keep what me broke, busted, disgusted. I'm surprised she's still driving that car. I, I'm yeah, really I'm surprised. surprised she ain't found a way to make Charlie Falk them come back and get it. <laughs> I'm, I'm so dead on serious. I'm surprised yeah. that she ain't left it at the stoplight just so the next crackhead can go take it. <laughs> Just so she could say, ain't nobody gave me nothing. Mm -hmm. And I and I'm and I'm tripping, but at the same time, I see a lot of myself and Hannah. Like even for my birthday, y'all, testimony time. Our birthdays, we have our PayPal down in the description box. I told you somebody <laughs> talked us into doing it, but I've never announced that it's there. When our birthdays rolled around, the blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings that was hitting that got on account, I was so uncomfortable. I wanted to reverse everybody's birthday gifts that they gave us because I don't like taking from people. Mm -hmm. But then I had to realize, Lynette, you sow, you give, you do stuff when people don't think you're doing it. You talk to this one, you talk that one out of suicide when they call you two, three o'clock in the morning. You know, I say, you know what, Lynette? I ain't asked nobody for skit. And if they want to bless, I'm just going to have to be uncomfortable and receive it. And receive. And that's what the hell I did. Yep. Thank y'all. Amen. <laughs> so if it's, if it's your receiving season, you better go ahead and, and indulge because your giving season is going to come back. Matter of fact, your receiving season is so to help you when you come to your season of lack. You have a little bit of overflow to take care of yourself. Hey. And have a little bit more to get to somebody hey. else. Huh? What? Hey. So Jim walks up in the house. He tells Catherine, he said, hey, we need to talk. <clears throat> You burnt my God throwing house down. <laughs> we need to have a God throwing conference call, sit down, freaking what app chat or something. Where all four of us get our God doing story straight because when they come looking for that for this story, we all need to be on one accord. Mm -hmm. Catherine said, I burnt down that ugly mansion basically because I wanted to. I hated that place. I hated it. And he said, but you don't realize the evidence won't in that. It's in storage. She said, do you think that I care anything about that evidence? I basically burnt that joke with there because I thought you were in it. <laughs> and Jim said, you don't mean that. She said, the hell, hell I, I do. don't. I do mean it. I want huh. your eight day and I want you out of my house. And this one, it just turned all the way left for me. He started unbuttoning his shirt. I said, what the hell is you doing, Jim? What is you doing? She was like, he said, I want you. you. She said, you don't want me. You don't want me. And I said, wait a minute. Why are you talking like you some insecure woman that can't be wanted? Wait a minute. I don't like that kind of talk because every woman wants to be wanted. Trust. So I'm like, wait a minute. 
I, you know, mm -mm. and told him, say, look, all you want is your horse, this, that, and the third. And the next thing we know, Jim had a pin down a on pin the bed. down on the bed. And he said, you know you want me. You know you want me, Kate. Kate, I see you, Kate. And the next thing I know, that lips started quivering. Mm -hmm. And I said, don't, 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 rubbing don't, on the head. She broke right on down to a brake pad at the, at the precinct like Martin was on, what you call it? Then I truly love and hate. And I guess he slid up and through that. Yeah, uh huh. Because we saw that in the in the previews. And next week, I so uh, so I'm trying to figure out now. Do she really? Do she really? Or still, did she need some did she, Yeah, that's why I agree. Does she need a piece, or does she really still love Jim? No, she. she I don't know. But I we but we him. but we know Jim came up off of her, and he need her. Yeah, because her daddy wasn't one that were rich. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so. Actually, Jim was pleading for his own life because when he yeah. know if he divorced Catherine, it's he gonna man. be broke. Yeah, I don't know. But y'all ain't got nothing else. I'm going to bed straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.